Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? It's Irish Spy. Today I have the next installment of the Movement series. Uh, today I'm going to be going over Payload Barn Blitz because I was asked to do some other maps aside from King of the Hill and Payload Race. Um, I was more specifically asked for a payload map. And right now I'm just kind of showing you, obviously, there's some basic stuff involved and you can just kind of jump on props. whoop de freaking do There is one prop that you can jump on, which is this right here, the gold whatever the heck that is. Um, I guess it's like a mill or something. Anyway, you can jump up here and you can cloak and drop down and stab people as blue pushes the cart through. Now, this jump is significantly difficult. And, uh, my biggest tip for doing this is only look a tiny tiny amount to the left. Um, you look too far to the left and it's just incredibly difficult. Once you get up and you're up on... So inside of locker room there's obviously a lot, of, a lot of lockers and you can jump onto these lockers by jumping on the handles and you can jump around from locker to locker and just kind of get around. You can also stand on a lot of other props that I'm showing you right now. This corner you think that you can't get in the corner and you're like, oh shoot. But actually, if you very carefully edge your way over, you can actually get up onto this little corner. And this is a great spot because when people walk up into here, they don't see the... They don't look to their left. They don't look behind them when they come into the room. A faster way to get up is by going onto that other locker and air strafing while jumping over uh, because the roof slants down. You can jump over here onto this little platform and get the height advantage on anybody that falls you by walking over here. Uh, you can obviously also go up and get the health pack that's over there. You can jump straight onto that box and crouch jump off, to, off of it immediately to get a stair stab. There are two weights to get over here. One, uh, you do not take fall damage, but you are easier to see. And the second one, you do take fall damage, but you are harder to see when it happens. And it's a little bit quicker of a process. You can also jump on top of these pipes and tires and you can get on top of this wall. However, you can also get behind the wall. Um, if you, somebody is chasing you and you fail stab them, you can jump around the wall and it makes it look like you jumped off. I've had several people fall off while chasing me. And uh, you cannot jump onto that area at all where the wooden pallet is above the door. Uh, I think they thought that would be a little bit too overpowered. A lot of people know about this spot with the health, but a lot of people do not. They fail to check this area behind the pallet and those big spools underneath the stairs. Um, so a lot of people will come in and check near the health and then just leave. So if you're cloaked in there, people won't find you. There isn't really much to show up here, but you can go over here into this corner. And on top of that, you can also go into the little drop um, drop zone room. And you can jump across it to get onto the little ledge on the other side. So that people can, if you get into a tight spot and you cloak and run over here, they'll think that you'll drop down, that you drop down and they won't know that you're still up here with them, and they might actually even jump down and you might get rid of them. Coming up these stairs, you can turn around and crouch jump back to get into this little awesome spot where you can drop stab um, people, red people usually. Um, this isn't a very good spot for a red spy. Um, people can see your shadow through that wall, however, so be careful when you're using that spot. Coming in here, there's not really anything in here. I've tried to get on top of that um, thing, but there is this one little thing where the you can stair stab people uh, who are coming through the doorway, corner stair stab. Uh, it's very, very effective. Everybody knows about this jump, but I'll bet that you did not know that you can also get onto this platform, this little hut with the full health pack, and over here on top of this other roof. It's very, very effective. And I get good sight lines into upstairs, as well as both spawn doors. At first point, you can make a crouch jump from almost the top of the stairs and air strafe over to the other side and that can buy you some time to get away from people. You can crouch jump on top of the pallets if you surf up. You cannot, no matter what you do, you cannot jump onto those uh, crates. I really wish you could. Anyway, continuing on, you can crouch jump over onto that hut and jump on over to the rocks. This is a really great decloak spot for those of you who do not already know it. And you can also crouch jump straight up onto the rocks if you surf up them. That pretty much sums it up for Payload Barn Blitz. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll just show you one other spot and I would not recommend using it because it's very easy to be accidentally WM1 while in that spot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like to let me know that you liked it so that I continue doing this series because 
it doesn't get a, too much um, attention, I might not continue it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.